So this is for Darius Crankow. About how to play Ninja Farm Mortar. Yeah, this is a pretty good map for Ninja Farm Mortar. And of course he skips it. And... I don't even care. Honestly, I don't care about my record. So for Ninja Mortar, it... I don't feel like it works that well in um in Savile Powers. Just because it gets so drained by Eco Choke. Um that it probably dies like round 13 most of the time. <laughs> but I like this map for it. What? Okay. Now he he's anti stalling, so I need to get my one up farm immediately. Normally I don't have to do that. And of course I still don't get my second banana. This is a bad example of how to play Ninja Farm Mortar, because it's against a noob. It's okay though. Okay, so he's ecoing, so I start with my mortar. Normally, if they're farming, you start with a ninja. Hopefully, next game I'll get like a farm example. I'll try and work my mortar up top. Kind of works. And he's being dumb and sending pinks, which you don't want to do when you're ecoing because that wastes eco. Like, with Eco, uh, generally the point is to outlast your opponent. With farms, you want to um, outgreed and outlast. With Eco, it's not to outgreed. Okay, how many pinks is he sending? Jeez. Okay. I think an 0-1 mortar should be enough for, like, greens. And then, yeah. So you get the mortar up against group blooms. Obviously. Um, yeah. I guess I'll get Bernie's stuff. Just place all my spikes down. Honestly, I have no other use for them. Did I not get Bernie's stuff? Jeez. I need to get my Bernie stuff. I'm fine, though. Low on lives, but we're fine. Pack, relax, relax. Honestly, since he's ecoing, this is fine. By the looks of it, he's dead round 13. And okay, dude. I actually should go for like a second mortar. Um, that's not gonna kill me. Actually, that's gonna kill me if I don't boost, because he's being super aggressive. Alright. This is where we exploit him, because he's been, um... He's been extremely aggressive with Eco. So... He's probably gonna have to boost here, to be honest. Yeah. That's a boost down, and he's probably dead round 13, unless he has, like, really good micro. If you played Maelstrom's it, I just send camos. So for round 13 all out, so you just get up a big one by selling a bunch of farms. I'll send this. Send this. He's dead. See ya. So yeah, against round 13, you just sell a bunch of farms and get up a big one and defend the rush. So then I'm going to try and find like a farm game against an actual good player. 
but it's Moab Pit, so that's kind of hard to come by, to be honest. Oh. All right. Ink blot. Pretty bad map for the strat. Yeah, this guy doesn't seem that great at the game. And you skipped Hot Tub. I love Hot Tub. Everybody hates it. I don't like when people skip it. I don't really care, though. Like, this is why I'm not on Prestige. Because I just DC half the time. Good player, good player, good player, please. Good player. I'm hoping for a good player. <sighs> okay. This is not Ariel, by the way. Like, look at the medallion count in the record. Unless it's like Ariel's alts, 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 or something. I don't know if there are still people on Discord that are just like, Ariel's alts, 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 or something. It's actually a pretty good map. Just because it's pretty long. Mortar's pretty good on it, and because it's long, Ninja's pretty good on it. I mean, you know, you want your Ninja right here. You want your Mortar just anywhere that's not a farm spot. So, yeah, this guy's farming, so that's good. We can actually see, like, a farm v. farm game. I think I'm going to place my Ninja right here. Yeah. So I can see this path, this path, and a bit of that. Um, yeah. So now I gotta get my 2-0 ninja because he's sending a bunch of reds. He got his 2-0 attack. So he's gonna be able to outfarm me early on by a lot just because of how efficient um attack is. Like, just get a blade shooter. That's so good. He's probably got wizard attack farm. If I had to guess. Okay, he got it. Gonna have to get my 2 on ninja soon. Yeah, Ninja's pretty bad early game. I'm just gonna spike down there. You see, Ninja bat Ninja is kinda bad early game just because of how expensive it is to defend. But this strat did used to be meta. It used like the upgrades on the ninja used to be a bit cheaper. I'll go for that. And I think he struggles against blacks with that, um... Yeah. He should, at least. And he makes eco, so although it might look like we're equal on farms, he has a much higher eco than me. So, you know. And we force a second attack. Honestly, I'm content with that. So then, round eight, I always save a little bit of money because my, I feel like my opponent's probably going to rush me. 
showing me the rush. I can actually afford an O mortar. If he sends a lot of yellows, then I have to upgrade it more. Jeez, that's a lot. Jeez, how many yellows are you going to send, dude? That's not going to kill me. It's only going to make me leak. And apparently I can't fit this farm. Jeez. Jeez. How long does it take to fit that? Where do I place my... Just place it like there. Save my money because I'm... Yeah, he has wizard. Okay. I'll save my money because I am feeling around 11 rush. If he does get up around 11 rush or send one, I just get up a bloom buster and defend. Easy. This is round 12. That's a short round. So I'll just get up a bunch of farms. Get a lot of quick money. And I have to get up my signal flare because camo leads. If you're wondering why I have to get this on, like, a separate mortar. Okay, yeah. So he's forcing that. I'll do that. That should force a second lightning wizard. And I spent, like, 800 bucks on this that rush. Oh, it forced a fire breath. That costs about as much, maybe more. I can afford to go for... A bank now. Um, he is letting me greed so hard. Jeez. I should not be getting away with this. I can always sell this farm. If I want. So that's good. I want to get this up to a bloom buster just in case. And I'll leave this guy at 03. Because that's all we need for, um, for that. Ninja on strong for zebras. First. And then, yeah. Um. I'll just preemptively get up a jitsu, and since he has a fire mage, I don't, I don't think it's worth it to send any moabs his way, just because he can easy sell those two tack shooters and maelstrom. If I wanted, I can go for double BIA. Um, this next round, but that's so risky with my strat. Just because it costs a lot of money to defend, like, BFBs. Mm, not a lot, but, like, later stuff, it costs a lot of money. If he sends, like, early oh my gods, I have to get up, like, five or six ninjas, and then, um, spam mortar stalls. I don't think I'm gonna rush this guy. Oh, wait... I have to. I probably didn't need to boost there. I just wanted to be safe. Because I was an idiot there. Yeah, so I have 15k in my BIA. That's a lot of money. I think I'll get Bernie stuff. Yeah, because leads and stuff. My Jitsu are clean those up pretty nicely. And then, yeah, I'll get my facility up around 21. He got it up towards the end of this round, which is a bad idea in my opinion. You want it as soon as the start of a round hits. So that you get the maximum uh, six crates out of the round, and you let your BIA cook up as much money as possible. Um, yeah, you can get up two jutsus. You can also get up a big one to defend, like, AI. From round 22 out. I prefer the big one route, just because it's more consistent. 
you get a big one, it just shreds. Oh, he's doing, um, that. Not sure why you're sending Liz behind it. That does, like, nothing. Yeah, I can just do that, and the big one will shred the ceramics that are inside. Probably didn't even need to buy that ninja, to be honest. Just keep it at two jutsus, a signal flare, and a big one. And my strat actually outlasts his strat late game by a lot. Like, Wizard Tech Farm, generally it loses, like, round 32. Mine, it can go to, like, round 34, maybe. I mean, if I have, like, good, good um, really good micro, I could maybe make it last to, like, round 35, but it's not like I'm good at the game, so... Um, I'll collect my BA when it's at like 15k again. Yeah, but you see, now we're out farming him because he sent, um, he sent the BFB. And like, um, and stuff. That really drained his eco. So yeah, late game defense is pretty good with this strat. If your opponent is smart, they'll pressure you hard um, at this time and make your farms not this good. But for now, we're in Moab pit, so it doesn't even matter. Um. Yeah. Can I fit this? Jeez. Thank you. Um. Get up like three jitsus, I think, is the number for Moabs. Probably end up selling these two farms to fit like Blunjutsu's in there. But for late game, late game, obviously you want to spam Jutsu's. And I have almost like max farms. Well, I mean, the max farms I can actually fit consistently. So I'm going to start spamming Jutsu's. Generally, you should be building up farms at this time, but it's whatever. I'll actually put some of these guys on strong to strictly target Xeon G's. And then I want, I still want a lot of them on first though. Um, yeah, this mortar will clean those up pretty well, I think. Right? Right? Thank you. Because we have stall, we can outlast him. So we have, obviously, sabotage supply lines. It's pretty good. Honestly, I can... Yeah, I'll keep that up. Sabotage that. Keep building ninjas. Um, yeah, so I'll send, like, a huge, um, rush now. Just because he doesn't have the slowdown, and I have it, 
so I'm going to be able to defend much longer than he can. So then when it gets down to BFBs, you want to start doing this. Um, yeah, that's a kind of trash micro spot, but it's fine. Honestly, I'll just sell all these farm. Yeah. So we won that game because we had the ninja stall and the mortar stall. So that's how you play ninja farm mortar, give or take.